And it's Pete J. And we're talking to you here from the left coast. We're all the way out on the sunny SoCal shores here of uh, Los Angeles, California, home of the of the uh, the blowfish. Yes, sir. Yeah, and we just we just got in town after after leaving Dallas with the with kind of kind of a big loss. It's kind of it's nice to be here. It's almost like being on vacation, but uh, we got to get back to work now. We got a lot of work cut out for us. Yeah, we do, and that that last game just proved it. You know, just kind of showed where our weak sp- spots were, and they just held it up right in our face. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it was one of those things again where we, offensively speaking, we did really amazing offensively. We just couldn't get the defense together. I mean, I forget what it was at the end of the game, but we had over both teams had over twenty hits, and uh, we ended up scoring eleven runs and losing the thing. Yeah, yeah, and we took a huge lead, and like you say, I, I agree with you. There was uh, defensive breakdowns, but when you've got um, two teams that are hitting, you know, rack up 20 hits each, um, that's that's not very good pitching, though. <laughs> right, know? right. Yeah, and it fell apart for us. Uh, again, it was all sort of right around one spot, too, you know, and it, we, yeah. we haven't had a lot where we get scored on throughout a game. It's just a real weak part of the game. And that ends up doing it for us, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's the it's the one slip that starts us down the uh, down the bumpy path. Yeah. So, well, we may as well talk about that. And I was telling you before the game, I got these highlights. It was there were so many of them. I didn't have time to cut them all apart. I only had time to segment them. So it's all in one big thing. So, for Pete, uh, you ready for this? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to run through this thing, and basically the way this is going to go is we jump out to a huge lead, folks. You wouldn't believe it. They come back, and they get <laughs> unanswered run after unanswered run, uh, and then end up getting ahead of us. We tie it back up, and then they end up winning in the end. But it went a little something like this. So anyway, uh, after that, Lungcaster comes up. He had a foul after hitting a foul in the left field. He gets an RBI, makes it 4-0, um, Texas. Then Marcus Murillo comes up and gives a little stance because they're having fun about it. But uh, bottom of the second, Corbin Huerta comes up, and he's going to hit one in the left field. It's a, it's gets two RBIs, putting us up ahead 6 nothing. Then in the bottom of the third, the next inning, John Contreras comes up, and he hits one in the center field. It's a center field home run over the wall. <clears throat> And at that point, we're up seven nothing. And John Contreras hasn't played for a while, so it's good to see him get out there. After that, bottom of the fourth, no McLean's gonna come up, and he hits one in right center field. Ends up getting a double on this one. It's an RBI as the runner comes all the way around from first, making it eight nothing. Then in the bottom of the sixth is where things turn around. Ian Fielder versus Yuppers. It's a sack rounder to the shortstop. Gets the RBI, makes it eight to one. Then same inning, Dela Cruz versus Yuppers. There's a wild pitch over over the glove of uh, LeBlanc. Another runner comes in eight two. It's top of the seventh inning, Devin Gutsendis comes up, and he gets a double and an RBI on this one, getting it, making it eight to three. Still top of the seventh, the horrible inning. Oven Bambino, hard one out in the right field. It's a three-run home run. 8-6, to six. and at this point we should have been wondering, six unanswered runs, should we have left the Yuppers in there? Uh, we picked the wrong answer. <laughs> and then it was still in that inning top of the seventh. Zoom Dela Cruz would come up, and she hits one to the left center field. It's a triple RBI, making it 8-7. There was in one run, when in that same inning, still top of the seventh again, Biff Noggins, center field RBI ties the ball game up at eight apiece, but they don't stop. In the next inning, top of the eighth, Devin Gutsendez versus Bo Reliable this time, and he cracks one in the center field. It's an RBI, and the grapplers take the lead. And in the same inning, top of the eighth, Kelby King, it's one of the left center field, it's a double, an RBI, and they're making it 10 to eight. Still then, top of the eighth, Ian Fielder comes up next. And he's going to hit this one in the center field. It's another RBI as the runner comes all the way around from second, making the new score 11 to 8. 11 unanswered runs. In the bottom of the eighth, we come back then. Ina Q versus Turlington. It's one in the right field. It's a sack RBI, making it 8 9. Still in the bottom of the eighth, Swindle Heath comes up. And he hits one out in the center field, gets an RBI for us again, bringing us within one point. It's 11 10. We're crawling our way back. 
bottom of the ninth finally Maximilian LeBlanc hits one in right field it's an RBI which ties the game up puts us into extra innings but in the top of the 11th fifth Noggins comes up and he hits this one out in right field uh, what's his name? Catches the ball. Right who's, who's out there right field? Repo Reeves. Repo Reeves catches the ball, holds on to it, forgot about the extra runner that comes around from second and scores, putting them ahead. It was it was a rule that we forgot about in the se in the 11th inning. They simply run in second. They capitalize on theirs. We lose ours. Bottom of the 11th. LeBlanc comes up, grounds out to second, and they end up beating us 11 to 10. Yeah, and I noticed that on playback, um, between the 10th and the 11th inning, right above the score, it says, auto runner rule in play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but somehow the, the Ramblers didn't get the message. <laughs> yeah. And they forgot all about the uh, the automatic runner or the ghost runner. Uh, like you say, tends to uh, will in uh, extra inning games, but only during the regular season, um, just to kind of help speed up those those uh, uh, extra inning game ball games. They'll they'll start the uh, inning with a uh, runner at second base. So well, and not just that, not that they had it, but then we lose ours, <laughs> you know. And the next one, we actually hit a line drive to the shortstop, who makes a catch and flips over to second yeah. to get the double, double play, play, and lo we lose our extra runner. So. Yeah, uh, we were saying before the game though, we just made too many defensive mistakes again, and you make yeah. that many, and you should win. That's true, and, and like, and, and we've we've talked about it many times before about uh, we we just don't have the pitching po we don't have the power in the in the bullpen, um, and and we are coming off of a, a situation where a starting pitcher uh, had to go out in the first inning after only pitching one pitch, so. We kind of went through the bullpen as well, so yeah. a lot of those people, a lot of those pitchers were tired. So um, when you talk about Dan uh, pulling Dana Yuppers, um, it would have been a lot. That would have been a lot easier call if we didn't have such a a beat bullpen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think there was a glance at the bullpen, and there really, I mean, there really wasn't anybody. Still, there still wasn't anybody uh, available who was in a better condition than Dana Yepers was. Well, it's a four-hour flight out, or a three-hour flight out here, so hopefully, no, yeah. four-hour flight, so hopefully they got some rest there. All right, there are 13 other games to tell you about before we can tell you where the standings are before we start this game. And the Blowfish played one game against our old team, so let's see how those went. People, I'm just start us off with the Overdogs up in Detroit at the Moose. All right, so the Overdogs travel to take on the Moose. Overdogs out to an early lead. And they're gonna hold on and win four to two. The Wolves were at the Blowfish here in this building. It was a close game for a while, and the Beavles pull up, win it five two. Buzzards travel to take on the Sirloins. Buzzards score first. It's a back and forth battle. The Sirloins win at nine eight. Herbisaurs and the Jacks. Herbisaurs two one. Swordfish taking on the Moonstars. It's gonna be the Swordfish three, Moonstars two and ten. Wow, Nemesis and Overdogs. Nemesis four three. Wildcats taking on the Saw Teeth, and it's the Saw Teeth pulling away. It's just a beaten pass. 12 to 5 in the end, Saki. Hot, hot corners in the lock horns, and it's hot. Wow, hot corners out in front. 10 7. Wow. Freebooters travel to take on the B Wolves. It's a back and forth battle, but the Freebooters start to put some distance between them and the B Wolves, and they win at 11 7. Crocs with the Platypi, and the Chicago Crocs win at 4 2. Heaters taking on, taking on the wide loads, and it's going to be the wide. Ooh, the Heaters come back and win at 9 8 in the end. Wild Pigs in Montreal at the Wax Bills, and his Wild Pigs, all Wild Pigs, the whole game, just 20 to two. Just, Moose travel to take on the Grapplers after the Grappler big win, and the Moose are going to win that one four to two. Tommy G, what it, we're seeing some real street fights out there. Jeez, <laughs> some of these games are just yeah. nasty. So <laughs> when you look at it, the Liberty Conference in the East, uh, the Eastern Division. The Platypies sit atop the Eastern Division with a record of four and three just behind them. Uh, tied for second place, both the Wide Loads and the Jacks with records of three and four. They're both a game out of first place. In our division, the Central Division, it's the Chicago Crocodons and the Atlanta Wildcats out in front five and two. Uh, Crocodons have a plus 13 rev differential. That's gonna be tough. We have to play them a lot this year. Uh, our Ramblers are three and three, 500 ball. Um, with one and a half games back, plus two run differential, we have uh, 
Never had a losing record this season. Pete's were open to protect that. That's true. Down in the Western Division, the Nemesis with a record of five and two and a plus ton ten run differential. They hold first place in the Western and just behind them in second place, the Sawtooth with a record of four and three are a game out. In the Continental Conference Atlantic Division, the Fort Lauderdale Freebooters out in front five and two. They have a one game lead ahead of the New York Wild Pigs and the uh, Montreal Wax Bills who are both four and three. The Wild Pigs have a plus 28 run difference. Yeah, they just pounded somebody yeah. though. <laughs> they scored 20 runs in one game. <laughs> yeah. The Plains Division, the Heaters with a record of five and two have a nice two game cushion over the second place Lockhorns who are sitting there with a, a record of three and four. So a sub 500 team in second place. Hot Corners finally got their first win. I think it's against the Moon Stars here, so good for them. Pacific Division, it's the it's our old team, the, the Arizona Beatles, four and three, with a plus two under differential. They're tied with these LA Blowfish, who are also four and three. So it's Phoenix and LA at the top. They both have one game lead ahead of the San Diego Moon Stars, last year's champs, who are at three and four. That's going to bring us. Yeah, the Blowfish. Blowfish have a negative four run differential. Well, hopefully that works out for us here. It's regular season game seven of 38, folks. It's our three and three Ramblers against the four and three Blowfish. Uh, if we win, it makes us an even record with them. If not, then if we, we had to put the tie to the bottom with the uh, moose. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Both teams are extreme contact specialists. So that's going to be interesting. We both have similar contact power. They're faster. We got better defense, believe it or not. <laughs> And they've got better rotation than too. So we are going to put our third string starter on the mound, Jet Dapper. He played well in his last game, I think, but he still lost it. He's known mostly for his velocity. He has fair junk and accuracy. He's known as a rally stopper. Uh, he's got an 0-1 record on the season. He'd like to turn that around, even it off. He's got a 6-0 ERA and a 1-6-7 whip. Pete. Yes, sir. And backing him up, uh, Swindle Heath out there in left field with a better than average power, good ability to connect the. Uh, at home plate and less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 480 with four home, home runs. And then, um, what's Bellamy's first name? Spray Bellamy. The spray, Spray Bellamy. I was going to say Spring. Spring Bellamy. <laughs> spray Bellamy at a third baseman with uh, good power, good ability to connect at home plate, uh, average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 321 with three home runs. And then Corbin Yurta, the center fielder, with good power, better than average ability to connect, better than average speed. He's hitting 481 with no home runs so far this season, Tommy. They're going to be putting their uh, left-hander on the mind, Shania Burns. She showed up in the stats there on the right, tied for first in the best ERA. She's got a zero ERA with a 1-0 record. So she won her game and didn't give anything up. Blank, and that's, that's pretty impressive. He's got a 1-1-4 whip, so she's going to be uh, she's going to be tough to go against. Yes, sir, and she's got some players backing her up. Max Steed, the left fielder, he's locked in right now. He's got good power, uh, good ability to connect, good speed on the base pass, and he's showing a little bit of juice because uh, by virtue of being locked in. But he's only hitting 192 with one home run. Is it Elvis Stanley, the shortstop? It is. Is Marvin Steed? And yes, Elvis Stanley. Yes. <laughs> oh. Marvin Steed and Elvis Stanley, the shortstop, with the uh, he's got better than average power, um, good ability to connect, better at, than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 346 with a home run, and then Harry Backman, the first baseman, with good power and uh, better than average ability to connect at home plate, and then uh, about average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 259 with three home runs. Yeah, much respect this Blowfish team. I believe these Blowfish have been making the playoffs every year since we've been calling. This is our seventh season. And I think they're in it every year, so that's always always a tough team to go up against. We yeah, they got a fine baseball tradition there. They do. <laughs> the lineup yes, of sir. <laughs> the assistant coach <laughs> looking like it is. We're gonna get uh, No McLean starting things off, playing shortstop today. No McLean back for batting second. Swindle Heath, the monster. He'll be playing at left field at third base. Spray Bellamy, and he'll be batting third. Batting cleanup. This is center fielder Kid Paul. Kid Paul is going to be in center field today. And batting fifth, well, now they got Maximiliano Blanc. He's not quite 100%. I say we bring in Ken Bernal. What do you think? Yeah, sure. All right, we're going to substitute him. We're going to bring him in for Kenny Bernal. <laughs> if you want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Bernal is competitive and durable. Those are good traits. Uh, so he's going to be catching today. He's got a better arm 
back there too, so maybe we'll get maybe we'll either keep them from running or throw some people out. Batting six, a DH, Corbin Huerta. Corbin Huerta is gonna be batting. So batting seventh, Repo Reeves out right field, because who else is gonna play right field? Batting eighth at first base, Hector Clements. Hector Clements coming back in. John Contreras played well in that last game, but Hector Clements is uh he's our other guy. We're gonna let him hit today. It's been a little while. He's Magic Hand Sign Stealer. And uh, finishing the batting ninth, Mark Marcus Murillo at second base. And then on the mound, like we say, Jeff Dapper is going to get there. He's going to throw the four-finger, the two-finger, the curveball, the slider. You ready to go, Pete? I'm ready to go, man. Let's do it. Let's get that lineup from those blowfish. All right, the blowfish leading off for the blowfish. Elvis Stanley, the shortstop. Uh, Hugh Porker at second base. Uh, Harry Backman, the designated hitter, is going to be batting third. Uh... Marvin Steed, the left fielder, batting fourth. Uh, Jose Carloco batting fifth. Uh, McGee batting sixth and playing catcher. Fourth, Rod Fourth in right field. Uh, S. Hill at third base. And uh, Narub Awunga out there in center field batting ninth. You can feel the energy rising here at Swagger Center. It's one for the record book. It's <laughs> oh, no. Uh, as we go into the first inning, no McLean, Swindle, Heath, and Spray Bellamy are going to get a first look at Shania Burns. Why is it every time we start this game up, it seems like the volume gets louder? <laughs> no McLean, the shortstop. Neutral and fit, favors the low pitch, hitting 464 with two home runs, seven RBIs. All right, Shania Burns winds up, tosses, and this game's underway here in Los Angeles. The, the West Coast pinstripes against our Rambler, she goes with the ball and then a strike, and we're even up a one apiece here. Late swing, hard liner into the corner in right field, and he's going to hold up at first base. He thought about going for second, but it's a clean single there by McLean. Clean. Yes, sir. So one on with no outs, and step swindle Heath, the left fielder. He's neutral and fit. Favors the outside pitch. He's known as a big hack. One on with no outs. First one's low, ball one. No, McLean has no speed at first base. Not going to challenge anybody. Allen's in there for a called strike, strike one. <laughs> Going on a miss, strike two. Heath hitting 480 with four home runs, eight RBIs. Allen's high ball two. Two balls, two strikes now to Swindle Heath. There's a roller foul along the third baseline. He'll get another pitch, two and two. There's a knock to the shortstop, Elvis Stanley. He flips it over to second, over to first for the double play. So nobody on with two outs. In steps Spray Bellamy. Yeah, that was good defense. Spray Bellamy hitting 321 in the season. Three home runs, five RBIs. Likes his pitches outside. Known as the big hat. Late swing, foul ball, first base line on the ground. Oh, won the count. Inside corner misses ball one. Good patience there, Spray. Spray's the kind of guy who signs autographs without smiling. That's for, isn't there for strike one and two? Gets that off the inside of the bat. It's on the ground to Stanley. At first stop, one pump throw to third, three down. Yes, sir. We're going to head into the bottom of the first. Elvis Stanley, Hog Porker, Harry Backman going to get a first look at Jet Dapper. No score as of yet. Beautiful day in Swagger Center for a baseball game. Elvis Stanley, the shortstop. He's neutral and fit. Known as a clutch player. He's hitting 346 with a home run, five RBIs. Oh, wow. Elvis Stanley. Pressure is up now on Jet Dapper. Oh, that one's in there for a call. It's strike, strike one. Jit Dapper known as the rally stopper. Swing and a miss, strike two, and Elvis Stanley very quickly in the hole, 0-2. Oh Dapper delivers. Just a little outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes now to Stanley. The blowfish shortstop, that one's popped up out of play into the stands behind home plate. He'll get another pitch, one and two. There's a roller over there to Marcus Murillo. He'll pick it up, double pump. Over to first base for the out. One out and in steps Hog Parker, Porker, the second baseman. He's locked in and fit. He's known as a base jogger. Porker hitting 333 with three home runs, five RBIs. First pitch to Porker's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Nobody on, one out, bottom of the first. Allen's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. Hog Parker. Porker, the second baseman. I keep calling him Parker. Oh, yeah. that's just going to get through into left field for a clean single. Shortstop, no McLean, dove for it, but it was just out of his reach. So one on with one out, in steps Harry Backman, the designated hitter. He's neutral and fit. He's known as a whiffer. 
Backman's hitting 259 with three home runs, four RBIs. First pitch is fouled off along the third baseline. Strike one. And no balls, one strike. He anticipated that one, but it was inside. He was able to let it go. So that'll even the count up one and one. There's a shot. That's getting into right field on the ground, and Reeves picks it up and gets it in quickly. So now there's runners at first and second with one out. In steps Marvin Speed, the left fielder. He's locked in and fit. He's got power versus right-handed pitching, and he's, no, he's a sprinter. And Marvin Steed is hitting 192 with a home run, one RBI. First pitch is fouled straight back over the backstop. Strike one. Allen's low ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. Marvin Steed locked in. Hmm. Allen's low as well. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Jet Dapper. That's outside ball three. Three balls, one strike, one out. Runners at first and second. That's in there for a called strike. Now we got a full count. Three and two to Marvin Steed. That one's lifted into the outfield. It's going to be, oh. Comes up short, and that's going to score at least two runs. And now the blowfish out front in the bottom of the first two to nothing. Jose Carloco, the first baseman, locked in and fit. He's hitting 333 with three RBIs. One out and one on, runner at third base, as Marvin Steed was able to hit that triple. That one's fouled off, strike one. The pressure is off of Dapper. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's lifted into the outfield, and the catch is made. And the throw is in uh, to hold Steed at third base. So two outs and a runner at third base in step. Sting McGee, the catcher. Sting McGee is neutral and well. He's hitting 269 with a home run, four RBIs. Two outs with a runner at third base. Moonstar, a blowfish with a two to nothing lead. There's a shot into left field, and that's going to be gone. A two-run home run for the catcher, Marvin Speed. 366 feet, just climbed that wall. That's the second home run and sixth RBI of the season. And he hit it to the high point of that wall. Rod Ford, the right fielder, neutral and fit. He's a distractor, only hitting 182. Steed with a good golf Nobody swing because that thing was down in the dirt. <laughs> well, he needed it to get over that, that tall wall over there in left field. So, yeah, strike one to Rod Forth. Four nothing in the top of the first already. Unbelievable. That's in there for a called second strike. And Rod Forth now in the hole. No balls, two strikes. That's in there for a called third strike. And Forth didn't even get the bat off his shoulder. But as Tommy said, the Blowfish have a four nothing lead as we head into the top of the second. Did Paul, Ken Bernal, and Cal Corbin Yurta are going to get a first look at Shania Burns, who threw 13 pitches and gave up one hit in her half of the first field. inning? Did Paul, the center fielder, is neutral and fit? He's an RBI hero, but he's injury prone. He's hitting 238. First pitch is, oh, over the inside <laughs> corner for called strike. Strike one. That one's lifted, on. but the shortstop, Elvis Stan, is going to range out the shallow left field and make the catch for the first out. And then steps Ken Bernal. Like the ball had helium in it. It just floated there. He ran halfway out in the left field to get it. Bernal, 556 on the season, takes the first one for a strike over the count. Blowfish in command here. There's an easy pop up in the left field. That's going to be caught. Waving that off is Arvin Steed. Two up, two down. Yes, sir. And in steps Corbin Yurt, uh, the designated hitter. He's neutral and fit. Hitting 481 with two RBIs. Two up and two down here in the Rambler half of the second. First pitch to Yurt is outside. Ball one. Runs outside. Ball two. Shania Burns. That's in there for a called strike. Burns throwing her 21st pitch here. That's <laughs> popped up behind home plate. The catcher is back. And... Uh, Steed makes the catch for the third out, so we're going to head into the bottom of the second. It's Blowfish <laughs> 4, Ramblers nothing, Shania Hills, for, and Narub Owanga getting their first at bat. Elvis Stanley 0 for 1. Dapper threw 24 pitches, struck out one, and gave up four hits in his half of the first. 24 pitches in the first. Mind Gamer, 667 in the season. One RBI. 
Uh, Jet Damper's tense already. Got a 10 2 9 ERA, 2 0 whip, 9 Ks, and he's going to throw his 25th pitch to lead off here in the second inning. A wind up the throw, breaks a bat on the foul of first base line. You're not going to get anything past her. <laughs> so don't try. Cheyenne, he'll be third base woman for the LA Blowfish, who are asserting themselves so far. Nice slider right in there for strike, 0 and 2. He's already losing accuracy in the second inning. Hide inside, ball one, one to the count. A little hard time dialing it in. That went down to the dirt, good trap there by Ken Bernal. We're knotted up now to a piece. Check, swing, oh. it's just inside, ball three, three and two. Five pitches already to the, the first batter. <laughs> it's gonna be and after like- you, after he went up, 0 and two. Yeah. Oh, and then they There's do that. The shot. Yeah. yeah, and then it's in the and corner. The... Ah, fair, oh, it's yeah. fair. And a double. Yeah, like I say, yeah. so they ride you all the way to a full count. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then and then they capitalize on a mash hit. All right, yeah. Harub Awanga, who's rattled. 200 in the season, two home runs, three RBIs, but he's he should be encouraged by what he's seen so far here today. First pitch, oh, this is on. for a ball. One of the kind of Wanga, normally a really dangerous hitter. Still good, still dangerous. That one's another strike. One apiece now. Safety off for Awanga. Got a fast runner at second base. That one's on the low side of the strike, so no swing strike two. One and two the count. The Naruba Wanga. Going to take his fourth pitch. Oh, nice slider. He does not swing. He's upset by the call, but it's a K. And we're going to bring in Elvis Stanley, who's already been up this game. He's 0 for 1 on the day today. A ranked shortstop. Good shortstop. Real good shortstop. Great contact. Goes to second base. Oh, McLean doesn't get there in time. Runner back. 35th pitch coming here to Elvis Stanley. Right in there for a strike. No swing. Oh, on the count. Safety off now for the shortstop for the LA Blowfish. Reaches out. Fouls there. Freaking pitch it off the wall. Oh, and two. Be careful. So where the danger happens. <laughs> oh, this is the outside corner. One and two the count now. Yeah. Rambler's got to get out of this so we can get back up and get that offense going. And I high inside strike. And he didn't like it, but the ump did. That's two Ks in a row. It's going to bring in Hog Porker. Second baseman. Locked in. One for one today with a single. Known as a base jogger. Goes back to second. It's a, in the dirt. The runner in the dirt. Two outs. One more to go. Got to get that defense running. Oh, nice breaking pitch comes back in. So we're going to miss. Strike one to Hog Porker. Second baseman for the Blowfish. There's a hard rip. Foul ball, first base line. Oh, two. We need one more to go. Oh, the breaking pitch four falls out. He doesn't chase it. One and two now. Hard foul ball, third base line souvenir. One and two still. 43rd pitch here in the second inning by Jet Dapper. Third ball is hit hard to right field. Repo Reeves sees that in the sun. He's going to make that grab for the third out. All right, so we're going into the top of the third. Repo Reeves, Hector Clements, and Marcos Marilio going to get a first look at Shania Burns, who's thrown 21 pitches and given up one hit so far. Uh, Blowfish with a 4 nothing lead over the Ramblers. I didn't do that right, but okay, I'll clean it up in the between. <laughs> Repo Reeves, the right fielder. Neutral and fit, hitting 444 with one RBI. First pitch, liner past the mound into center field, and we're going to start things off with a good hit there. All right, now we get that offensive engine going, Pete. Yes, sir. That's it. We win the game. Back it up. Hector Clemens, the first baseman. He's neutral. If he's got magic hands and he's a scene stealer. Hitting 444 with a home run and an RBI. Again, Repo Reeves, not a lot of speed over at first Oh, base. come first, on. First hit is popped up behind home plate. Oof. It's foul out of play. So one strike. No balls, one strike to Clements. That one's inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Off speed pitch. Jeez. That's popped up. Why is he not going back? He's going to third. Why is he not going back? Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. Wow. Come on. I was hit. He wouldn't go back. I'm hitting the run. <laughs> it's the bumper, not the trigger. Uh, the it trigger used to be goes. the trigger. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a mad hit. In the left field, it's going to be caught at the track. Marvin C. One, two, well, not one, two, three. But. It used to be the trigger would bring it's everybody back. But 
No, when you pull the trigger, that's just the um, hitter. So it was trying to get the hitter to come back, but the hitter's not going to come back because he's going to first base. Sorry, it's 4 nothing. Harry Backman, a bunch of other people. Harry Backman, it's so you got to hit the bumper, the right bumper to get him to come back. Harry Backman, the designated hitter. We're learning as we go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I thought Trigger was the lead runner. I think it used to be, but it seems to be the trailing runner now. Um, we're gonna have to check the uh, check the tape. Yeah. But uh, like I said, I was hitting the trigger, and he did. It, it, he had no impact on the front of the the lead runner at all. You know. Yeah. But then when I looked, you could see. Oh. What? Sorry, folks. Uh, you could see that the uh, the uh, return um, symbol was around the, the hitter who was going to first. And and I'm like, okay, I hit the left trigger then, and and the runner base runner rounded second and headed for third, <laughs> and then I hit the bumper, and that's when he's finally started coming back. And you're like, well, it's too late now. Anyway, it's three balls and a strike to whoever this person is. Come There's on, a single up in the center field. Did Paul throw it in quickly? Sorry about that, folks. We got a little uh, caught up. Jose Carloco, the first baseman. He's neutral. And he's 0 for 1 today. One on with one out, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. One out with one out. A lot of speed at first base. Throw over to first, and the runner is back. Jose Carloco, the blowfish uh, first baseman. Throw over to first, and the runner's back. No balls, no strikes, one out. There's a shot into of course. center field. That's going to be gone. Oh, oh, he catches off it the off the wall. the wall, and he holds it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what that, that's what that did. Stig McGee, the catcher, locked in a well. One for one with a home run and two RBIs. So another run scores. Making it five to nothing in the bottom of the third. Runner at first with one out. Sting McGee steps in, takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. I don't know what to do. McGee is locked in and well. That one's swinging a miss. Strike two, and now McGee is uh, in the hole. Owen two. That one's lifted into. Come on. That was lifted into center field and uh. Uh, it left center field and was able to drop for a single. So runners at first and third now with one out. In steps Rod Ford. He's 0 for 1 today. Jet Dapper known as a rally stopper. One out. Runners at, uh, at the corners. First pitch to fourth is in there for a called strike. Strike one. There's a roller and that's going to get to. Unbelievable. Uh, he's not going to get anybody. Oh my gosh. Come on. A roller to the shortstop. No McLean who couldn't get up fast enough to get the guy at second, nor could he get it across the first base to get the guy at first. Another run scores at six to nothing. Runners at first and second with one out. I don't know what to do here. First pitch to Cheyenne Hill is uh, in there for a called strike, strike one. We can't we can't keep giving these runs. They're hitting them into these holes. Oh. And another roller pass, no McLean into left field for a single. Base is loaded now. And in steps Nareb Awanga. Awanga, first pitch prayer. He's 0 for 1 today. He is rattled but fit today. Yeah. So the bases are loaded with one out in the bottom of the third. There's a roller to no McLean. Over to second, yes. over to first for oh. the double play. And we're out of the inning. But... Uh, the um, Blowfish pick up two more, making it six to nothing as we go into the top of the fourth. No McLean, one for one. Swindle Heath, 0 for one. And Spray Bellamy, 0 for one. Shania Burns at 26 pitches, giving up two hits. No McLean, the shortstop, is locked in and fit. Favors the low pitch. He's one for one with a single today. And First pitch to McLean's outside, ball one. That one's of smash, but the diving stop by Hog Porker, and he's going to throw out No McLean at first base. One up, one down, and in steps Swindle Heat. <clears throat> Boy, we can't buy a break, man. Swindle Heat, though, for nope. one in the day. Six to nothing in the top of the fourth inning. We just can't keep from getting crushed. Early swing, strike one. There's one in the center field that's going back, but it'll be caught by Narubawanga. 
two up, two down. Third baseman, number two. Ray Bellamy, the third baseman, is neutral and fit, favors the outside pitch. He's a big hack, 0 for 1 today. Two up, two down in the Rambler half of the fourth. First pitch to uh, Bellamy is low, ball one. That one's inside, ball two. Two straight balls. A big hack. There's a smash. That's going to be gone. I, wow. <laughs> that's rip. Big <laughs> hack out of the ballpark practically. <laughs> Ray Bellamy puts the Ramblers on the board. That one traveled 487 feet. And that's his sixth RBI of the season. Boy, that is a deep, deep ball, Tommy. <laughs> uh, a little anger, anger release there. Frustration. Kid Paul up now. First pitch misses inside. Ball one, one of the count. Like a pitching machine. Rapid fire. There's one on the ground. The hog porker, one pump throw to first. And they close up the side. Yes, sir, but the Ramblers get on the board. So as we head into the bottom of the fourth, it's six to one Blowfish. Elvis Stanley 0 for two with a strikeout. Hawk Porker one for two and Harry Backman one for two. Dapper at 59 pitches with three strikeouts, giving up 10 hits as ERA's up a 10.0. In steps Elvis Stanley. <clears throat> Elvis is in the building, Pete. 0 for two though on the day. The clutch hitter. Short stop, but can't hold him off for too long. First pitch in there for a strike. Oh, won the count. Elvis Stanley. Second pitch. Swinging to his strike two. I feel it's going to fade deep. Because when he does make contact, I think it's going to go. There's one on the ground. And no, McLean's going to dive to his left throw. Just barely beats him. Ow, wow. <laughs> it looked, you think he did plenty of time. These guys are fast, I guess. Hog Porker, one for two with a single. I... I don't want to seem like a complaint. It was a good day. Jet Damper still tense. His ERA has fallen to a 9.64. He's going to throw a 63rd pitch. Hog Porker here. Run right now. Wind up the toss. Check swing, no swing. Ball one. One and oh. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Reaving up now one apiece. Bottom of the fourth, 6 1 blowfish. Uh, Ramblers looking to come back. They got to get some good pitching. They seem to get good pitching every other inning. That one misses for a ball. Two on the count. There's a hard line of third baseline foul. Two apiece now. The hog porker. Oh, there's a blast in the center field. Running up for that is Kid Paul's going to make that grab for the second out. We just need him to hit it to us. <laughs> Harry Backman now. One for two with a single power hitter. Good contact. Outfield fading back. Oh, fade right on back. 68th pitch from uh, the rally stopper. And misses inside ball one. Jet Dapper losing accuracy as well here. Doesn't take him long. <laughs> Swing and miss. Strike one. One apiece now. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. We need one more to go. Hopefully get his 12th K. Inside corner. No swing strikeout. He's known as a whiffer. It'd be nice to get his dozenth K. Of the season number 26. Winds up. Throws it. Slider. Fires his back. Fouls it back off the wall. One and two. Fouls it right up. Inside. Oh, that's going to land on the ground in front of Swindle. Heath is going to pick it up, throw it in. And Harry Backman's going to end up at first base with a single. That's going to bring in Marvin Steed, who's two for two with a triple, a single, two RBIs. Power versus right-handers. The outfield's going deep. We got an average speed runner at first base. Tense jet dapper. Just got to get past this one guy. This is outside corner on that one. One to the count. Getting ready to throw that ball to second. All right, breaking pitch is there for a strike. Evens things up now. Safety's off. 75th pitch. High and outside, no swing. Strike two. One and two, the count. Get him. Get him, Jet. Swing him at strike three. He gets his dozenth. The way to get out of it, Jet Dapper. Yes, sir. So we're going to head into the top of the fifth. It's Blowfish six, Ramblers one, Ken Bernal 0 for one, Corbin Yerta 0 for one, and Repo Reeves 1 for one. Shania Burns at 35 pitches and giving up three hits. Or yeah, he's at a .82, Tommy. Oh. Ken Bernal, the catcher, neutral and fit. 0 for one today. Come on, Bernal. Let's get it going here. All righty. First pitch to Bernal <laughs> is fouled off along the third baseline. Strike one. That one's a roller to third base. The third baseman will pick it up, make the throw to first for the first out. What up, one down, and in steps Corbin Yurta. Well, she's throwing him right in there. Huerta 0 for 1. Good power hitter. Pressure up. He, he saw um, Spray Bellamy take that one out. He he's wants to get one of his own. Late swing foul off the ground. 
Oh, on the count. She's going right down there. That's higher yeah. than it is far, unfortunately. That's going to be caught at the track by Naruba Longo. Two up, two down. That's the fifth one of those I hit today. <laughs> Repo Reeves, the right fielder, is one for one with a single. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting him deep. They just don't go deep enough. Two outs, nobody on top of the fifth. That's a foul ball along the third baseline. Strike one. No balls, one strike, two outs. That one's popped Another up one. into yeah. left to center Same field. Spot. The center fielder is there. And Naruba Wongo will make the catch for the third out. We're going to move into the bottom of the fifth. It's still 6-1 Blowfish. Jose Carloco, one for two. Stig, Sting McGee, two for two with a home run. And Rod Forth, one for two with a strikeout. Depper at 76 pitches with four strikeouts. Giving up 11 hits. His ERA's down to a 9.0. Jose Carloco, the first first, uh, first baseman, is locked in. And Vings, one for two with single and an RBI. Nobody on, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth. Blowfish with a five-run cushion. Six to one lead over Ramblers. The Ramblers. The Dallas Ramblers. There's a roller, and that's going to get to No McLean. He's going to smother it. He's going to get up and throw. Maybe the dirt. And not make that play. Wow. One on with no out. Sting McGee, the catcher, locked in and well. Two for two with a home run and a single. <sighs> so one on with no outs. Sting McGee, the catcher, comes up. It's it's like desperate. I feel like there's nothing I could do. Yeah. Me too. There we go. There Double we go. Play. All right. So a roller to the first uh, uh, to the first baseman who throws to second for the for one and back to first for two. Double play. Two outs and in steps Rod Ford. Almost called the first baseman. I got to, uh, oh shoot, and it's too hard. Yeah, I, I, I don't have the pressure yet. Okay, so a roller to No McLean, he dives to make the catch because he can't run and get the ball. He's got to <laughs> dive for it. And yeah. Then, <laughs> and then he comes up firing and, and uh, he was late with the throw. So one on with two outs, a lot of speed at first base. First pitch to uh, Cheyenne Hill. This, we're all over the place. This is, it's. Yeah. It's like so crazy. I can't, I mean, I can't, can't even keep up with the game. You know, yeah. it's like no balls, one strike. There's a shot. And that's going to get into center field past Marcus Murillo. And uh, Kid Paul will throw it into second base to hold the right runner at second, who was thinking about trying to stretch it to third. He does have a lot of speed. So runners at first and second with two outs to rub. Wonga stepping in. Awanga is rattled but fit. He's 0 for 2 so far today. Like Tommy says, he can be a dangerous hitter, though. Swing and a miss, strike one. No balls, a one strike to Awanga. Allen's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runners at first and second, bottom of the fifth. That one's low, ball two. Two and one now. Jet Dapper's accuracy is really starting to show wear. A roller back to Dapper. He'll pick it up, make the throw to Clements at first for the third out. We're going to go into the sixth inning. It is Ramblers one run on three hits with an error, and the Blowfish six runs on 13 hits. Hector Clements 0 for 1. Marcus Murillo 0 for 1. No McLean 1 for 2. And Shania Burns at 41 pitches, giving up three hits. Hector Clements, the first baseman, 0 for 1, hitting 400 this season. First pitch. They're going to try and get her pitch in the whole game. Makes it back in for a strike. Oh, here comes the fastball. Oh, oh but it's way outside. So we're going to be strike two. She got him in a hole. A little stutter. That on the ground to Cheyenne Hill. Bare hands and throws it to first base. One up, one down. Boy, they're playing great defense. Yeah, Marcus Murillo, the second baseman's uh, neutral and fit. 0 for 1 today. One up, one down in the top of the sixth. First pitch over the outside corner for a call. Strike, strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. There's a smash into right center field. And that's going to get all the way back to the wall. And Murillo's coming around second. And he's going to pull in the second with a double. So a stand-up double for Marcus Murillo. One on with one out. And then steps No McLean. All right. Way to go, Murillo. All right. No McLean, one for two with a single. Great batting average. He's got a runner in scoring position here. We can get back, Pete. We, we play offense. Hard liner past the mound in the center field. Runners come in around from third. He's going to get in, slide in for the. He made it, Pete. They get the run. Yes, he did. So the Ramblers coming back now at 6 2. 
Runner at first base and Swindle Heath steps in. Swindle Heath 0 for 2 today. Favors the outside pitch. First pitch to McLean's inside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. That's over the inside inside corner for a call strike. One and one. There's a the roller to the uh, Elvis <laughs> Stanley, the shortstop, over to second for one, over to first for two. And we're going to head into the bottom of the sixth. It's uh, Blowfish six, Ramblers two. Elvis Stanley 0 for three with a strikeout. Hog Porker 1 for three. And Harry Backman 2 for three. Jet Dapper at 87 pitches with four strikeouts, giving up 13 hits as ERA is at an 8.18. Elvis Stanley, the shortstop. <coughs> Stepping in. He's short and stopping right there. Uh, Jet Dampers here, he's down to an 818 now. 290 whip, 12 strikeouts. Elvis Stanley leaning in the left hand batter's box, takes the first one for a strike. Jet Dampers going to throw his eight. He's closing in on 90 pitches here in the sixth. This is going to be his last thing. Fouls that breaking pitch back off behind the plate. 0 oh 2. Here comes number 90. Ooh, misses low and away. We're at one and two now. Against the clutch hitter, Elvis Stanley. Ooh, hard foul ball first base line on that breaking pitch. Still stuck at one and two. Reaches up, fouls that into his own dog. He can't get past him on these last ones, you know. Now he's losing some velocity. That one's underground to Hector Clements. He's going to go to his left, toss it over to the pitcher. Who covers the bag. Jack Dipper gets there in time. And uh, now it's going to bring... And Hog Porker, one for three with a single. More power than contact. A good power, actually. Outfield should probably fade back for him. This one's in for a ball. He's losing velocity and accuracy now. 95th pitch. There's one on the ground. Hector Clemens going to pick that one up and run it down himself. Two up, two down. One more to go. Two for three with two singles is Harry Backman. Got nobody on base right now. Hard liner. Oh, and the diving. No, McClay could get there. Goes back to the wall. Look at the slowness. It's like he's. It's like the. It's just jogging out there. I mean, ooh. <clears throat> it gets a double. Sorry, people. Who's my cool little. Uh, Marvin Steen, two for three, a triple single, two RBIs. <laughs> He's having a great day. You're not going to get past Steed. He's got velocity. Or no, he's got, uh, oh, he's got a lot. In fact, I'm going to, this one misses inside ball one. One of the, I feel going deep. That one makes the outside corner strike. What even one a piece now safety off. Marvin Steed, left fielder for the LA Blowfish. Looking to make this one eight to two. There it is. Oh, hard off the wall. Reeves gets it back, and they're gonna they're gonna get the run in. There's, there's McKinley makes it seven to two. It wasn't quite as bad. You knew he was gonna get one run. I thought he might get two. Jose Carloco one for three, the single on RBI. Dip Depp or suck and win, throwing his hundredth pitch. Check swing strike one. Oh, on the count. Got fast runner at first base. Check swing strike two. Zero oh and two. Can he get past him here? A five-run ball game. Foul ball, third base line. He's at 103 pitches. Low and away. Oh, come into on. Into the gap. Jeez, so and it's gonna, why is he not running? Holy cow, did you see that? Did you see it? It's like he stopped, like he wasn't sure. There, now it's eight to... Now it's eight to two. Son of a gun. Did you see that? He's like walking out there. He's tired. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from him? What are we watching here? Sing McGee, two for three, the home run and a single. Uh, We're watching our season ebb away. Yeah. Oh, they got to get Jim Temper out of here. That's, yeah. That's, All that's right, he's going to get another out. run. He gave up four runs, yeah. I think, in this inning. All right, well, we like to do that. He didn't make it. <laughs> we like to give yeah, him five uh, chances. Rod Ford, two, get three, through. two singles. Uh Faster average runner at first base is now nine to two. The bottom of the sixth. We need to get seven runs to tie it. In three innings. Now pitching Donnie Bowers. Finally pulling Jet Dab. They bring in Donnie Bowers. He played a good game last time he was in. He is uh, well rested. He's mostly known for his junk, I guess. He's fairly. He's okay at all three. Uh, he's got a three eight six area, one oh seven whip, four Ks. He's known as a pick officer. 
which uh, while pitching, uh, opposing base runners suffer decreased running speed when attempting to steal. That's good. Uh, he throws a four-finger, mixes it up with a slider and a changeup. And he's a southpaw now, throwing to a lefty. We got a runner on first base, two outs. It's been two outs for a while now. And uh, Donnie Bauer's going to come out and clamp it down. He's right at him with a strike, on the count. It's a new game now. Goes over to first base. It's a runner in the dirt. Fans cheering him on. Get your Boston Crab, Pete, between innings. <laughs> Low and away peck to the mound. The comebacker, he picks it up, throws it over to first, and closes it. Two pitches and closes it out. Way to go, guy. Yes, sir. So as we head into the top of the seventh, it is uh, Blowfish 9, Ramblers 2. Spray Bell will be 1 for 2 with a home run. Kid Paul 0 for 2 and Ken Bernal 0 for 2. Schneider burns at 51 pitches, giving up five hits over the at a 1.38. Spray Bellamy, the third baseman, is neutral and fit. Favors the outside pitch, big hack. He's one for two with a home run and an RBI. And the biggest home run I've seen in a long time. Yeah, oh, that one inside corner misses, or makes it in for strike. Oh, on the count. Outside runner back to the mound. Burns picks it up, one pump throw to first, one up, one down. In steps Kid Paul, the center fielder. He's 0 for 2 today. One on, uh, one up and one down in the top of the seventh. Kid Paul takes the first pitch outside, ball one. Allen's low ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Kid Paul. <laughs> Allen's popped up behind home plate. The catcher takes one step back, makes the catch for the second out. Two up, two down, and now steps Ken Bernal, the catcher. And three of those today. Ken Bernal, 455 on the season. We got to get some offense. Offense right in there for a strike. Oh, on the count. Low pressure situation here. Guys oh, on the grounder to Steed, or Stanley at short stop. One pump throw. Three up, three down. That was quick. Quick. Yeah, after two really long games, we're going to have a really short one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going into the bottom of seven. Still blowfish nine. Ramblers two. Shan Hill, three for three with a double to Rube. Owunga, 0 for three with a strikeout. Elvis Stanley, 0 for four with a strikeout. Van Hill, the third baseman, she's locked in and fit right now. Three for three, a double and two singles. And she is a mind gamer. Well, batting, the opposing pitcher suffers a minus eight accuracy. That first pitch from Bowers is in there for a called strike. Strike one. That one's fouled off into the dugout along the third base side. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. That's in there for called third strike, and down goes Shan Hill for the first time. Hey, Narubba Wonga stepping in. He's uh, rattled and fit. He's 0 for 3 with a strikeout, at least one strikeout. Nobody on, one out, bottom of the seventh. There's a roller, but that's foul along third baseline. Strike one to Narub. Blowfish nine, Ramblers two. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That's in there for called second strike, and now Awanga finds himself behind in the count. One and two. There's a roller back to Bowers, and Bowers is going to pick it up and make the throw to first base for the second out. Two up, two down. In steps Elvis Stanley. Elvis Stanley, the shortstop, is 0 for 4 today, which is uncharacteristic for Stanley. He's usually a better hitter than that. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. First pitch to Stanley is the low ball one. <laughs> that one's hit foul along the first baseline. That'll even the count up. One ball, one strike. On that one's outside, ball two. Two balls and a strike now to Elvis Stanley. That one's fouled off along the third baseline. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's the pitch. And he fouls that one off. He'll get another one. Bowers throwing his 15th pitch to Elvis Stanley. And Stanley gets that one going oh. into the outfield and it bounces just in front of Kid Paul for a clean single. So one on with two outs and in steps Hog Corker, the second baseman. He's locked in and fit. He's one for four with a single. <laughs> so one on with two outs. And Danny ba Donnie Bauer is a pick officer. First pitch to Porker's in there for a call. Strike, strike one. Throw over to first <laughs> and Elvis Stanley is back. Stanley does have some speed over at first base. Oh, that one's low. That evens the count. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Hog Porker now behind in the count. One and two. And Bowers just threw that past him. 
Oh, and Porker gets enough of that to push it foul along the third base side. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Throw back to first, and Elvis Stanley is back. One ball, two strikes, two outs, and there's oh. the pitch. Oh, and low. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. That's popped up foul into the stands behind home plate. Swing and a miss, strike three, and down goes Hog Porker. And we're going to head into the top of the eighth. It is still Blowfish 9, Ramblers 2. Corbin Yurta 0 for 2. Repo Reeves 1 for 2. And Hector Clements 0 for 2. Shania Burns at 58 pitches, giving up five hits. Her ERA is at a 1.29. Corbin Yurta, the designated hitter, neutral and fit, 0 for 2 today. Come on, Corbin, let's get her going here. First way out in front of that one. Strike one. That one's low ball one. One ball, one strike, no outs. There's a shot, and that's going to be out of here. Another home run for Corbin Yurta, and that's uh, that's three runs now. That traveled 398 feet. It's his first home run and third RBI of the season, and the score is now 9-3. to three. Again, a bunch of single home runs. It'd be nice if there were some runners on base. Yeah. Rico Reeves. Well, it's good to see something go over the wall. One for two on the day. Repo, right fielder for the Texas Ramblers. That one's in the dirt. Nobody's swinging. I don't know the count. Oh, foul ball, first baseline. Yeah, they want her to go the whole game. Top of the eighth here. And yeah, we got to get to her. Fouls that back up. Good getting the pitch count up. Still one and two. Inside ball two. All right, good patience. Got a one nine three ERA. Three ERA. That one misses outside. All right, make her keep throwing. Full count. Hardliner past the shortstop into center field. That's going to be a clean single. Pretty get on there, guy. Yes, sir. So one on with no outs, and then steps Hector Clements. Clements 0 for 2 today. Magic Hand Science Steeler. One on with no outs. The Blowfish 9, ah. Ramblers Ugh. 3. Son of a... Two. Pop up to the second baseman in shallow center field for the first out. And this time, the runner stayed at first base, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. A lot, a lot, a lot of pop-ups. You got, uh, there you go. Marcus Mule takes the first one in for strike. Oh, on the count. Slower than the average runner at first base. One out. Even things up at one apiece. Shana, Shana Burns. Hard one on the ground, but that's, oh, it's a tough hop to the third baseman. And now they're both going to be safe, Pete. Well, that was... I think that was an, I don't know if that was an error. It was just a tough play. play. Yes, sir. Runners to first and second with a one out. No McLean stepping in. He's two for three with two singles and an RBI. Come on, no. First pitch to no is in there for a called strike. Strike one. No. There's a line drive to the first baseman. He snaps a throw to second, but was unable to complete the double play. So. Two outs, runners at first and second. In steps Swindle Heath. All right, Swindle. Swindle. Ah. Looking a little tense recently. Two outs to way outside. Now he's going to get thrown out. Unbelievable. What? You know what? You see that and you think you got to run, but you forget that they're so slow. Yeah. So we're going into the bottom of the eighth. It is Blowfish 9, Ramblers 3. Harry Backman 3 for 4 with a double. Marvin Steed 3 for 4 with a triple and a strikeout. Jose Carloco did some stuff too. Harry Backman locked in and finished 3 for 4 with a double and two singles. Not bad for a whiffer. Yeah. Well, you just, you just got to remember, yeah, when they when the ball goes past the catcher, you got to think twice about it because it's usually a no-brainer. <laughs> and look at these guys. It takes them three days to get to the ball. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm telling you, I, you know, I know you don't want to rebuild this whole team, but we need a lot more yeah. speed on this team because it's killing us. It is killing us. Yeah, it's a joke. Marvin Steed, three, three for four, I think. Runner at second base, no outs, nine to three. Check swing, oh. ball one. Outfield going to go deep. 25th pitch by Donnie Bowers coming right here. Breaking pitch outside corner. Safety off now. Bowers, it's a new game with Bowers on the mound. I'll tell you what, Pete. That one low and inside foul towards his own dugout. One and two. We just need one more. Foul ball, third baseline. Still one and two. It's in him hard. Oh, that rising fastball he does not chase. Two apiece now. 
We need to get an out here. We need to get something. Oh, he does not chase the breaking pitch. We're full up now on a full count. 30th pitch by Donnie Bowers in the bottom of the eighth. Anticipated what? that. Missed high and outside. Walks him. What? It's on first. And now that's going to bring up Jose Carloco. Two for four. The double is single. Two RBIs. Boy, these teams love playing us, man. <laughs> we want that triple play now. He's got to hit a grounder to third. First pitch in there for a strike. No swing. Oh, won the count. Jose Carloco. First baseman for the. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, for the. From the blowfish, they're gonna get the runner to third. The bases are loaded now with no outs. No outs, Pete. Sting McGee. Stingy Sting, the catcher. We need we need a strikeout and then a double play. Donnie Bowers is losing a lot of stamina. And throw oh yeah, we're looking to get bring somebody else here in the bottom of the eighth. You go with twist? Now pitching. Oh, you're bringing Leland Bull. Leland Bull, who's uh, fairly well rested. We're going to tire him out. He's, he throws mostly for his velocity. Yeah. Uh, he's got okay. He is, he's, uh, with, with the exception of Gutierrez, yeah. I mean, everybody else is exhausted. So. Yeah, he uh, throws the elite four finger. He mixes it up with the, cur the cut finger and the curveball. So we'll see here now. Leland Bull needs a strikeout and then a double play. That's what we got to have. So play at any base, really. Toss over to second. Come on, get to first. He's never going to make it. Never. You're, gonna get, you're lucky to get one. And he does. One out. They get another run. Oh, two for four. With two singles is Rod Forth. He's right fielder. Got runners in the corners now. One out. Foul ball. Diving to his left. Oh, one the count. Still, still yet to get a pitch past somebody since coming out here. Swing and a miss, strike one. There you go. Leland Bull gets a strike finally in there. Got a 193 RA. He's a good pitcher. Got the elite fastball. See what happens here. We need the double play. Oh, that's not going to get a double play there now, are we? We're going to get another run. Make it 11 3. That's the second game in a row where we've given up at least 11 runs. Talk about a slump. Jay Ann Hill, third base woman. Right in there for a strike. Oh, on the count. Pass runner first base. Average runner second base. One out. Bottom of the eighth. We're losing by eight runs. Another whistling fastball in there for a strike. Oh, and two. Third ball. She hits a home run ball, but foul. Oh, and two. Foul ball. Third base line. Still 0 oh and two. This is where you can't get past them. Oh, that one misses outside. One and two the count. Well, swinging miss strike three in the dirt. Two outs. All right, and Ruben Wong up now, 0 for 4. Uh, the A minus ranked center fielder rattled still. Swing and a miss, strike one. That was his pitch. 0 1 the count. We need just one more pressure up a little bit here. Breaking pitch misses for a ball. We're even now one apiece. Bottom of the eighth, 11 3. Hard foul back off the wall. 1 and 2 the count. Nice. Uh, Let's see. Swing and miss inside, breaks the bat, and gets out of it, Pete. Yes, sir. So we're heading into the top of the ninth. It's the Ramblers, three runs with seven hits and one error. The Blowfish, 11 runs on 21 hits with an error. Swindle Heath, 0 for 3. Spray Bellamy, 1 for 3 with a home run. Kid Paul, 0 for 3. Swindle Heath, 10th but 5th. He's 0 for 3 today. 0 for 3. Swindle Heath, 0 for 3. Jose Carloco is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in Pumper Lumpkins. Pumper Lumpkins, the first baseman, is neutral and fit. He's got uh, less than average speed, um, less than a little bit less than average fielding, and a less than average arm. He's got no errors. He's hitting 333 with no home runs. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitching. They're also going to bring out Cheyenne Hill. They're going to bring in Alfonso Delgado. Alfonso Delgado takes over duty at third base. He's neutral and fit. He's got uh, about a better than average speed, better than average fielding, and a good arm. He's known as a base rounder. He's got no errors and no base, uh, no batting average so far this season. So, oh, wow, they're just pulling everybody right now. <laughs> yeah. 
Narub Awanga is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in Ricky Kwan. Ricky Kwan, the center fielder now. He's got better than average speed. He's a good fielder with a good arm. He's neutral and fit. He's got no errors. He's hitting 600 on this season and no home runs. Did that person just curse? <laughs> and he's known as a stealer. Now your burns so some major. Throw her 75th pitch here. Swing and a miss. Strike one to the 0-3 uh, uh, Swindle Heath. Ball. Oh, Early he... swing foul ball. First baseline. One and two down on the count. Reaches down. Fouls that back off the plate. Still one and two. Wiping something off her mouth. Delivering inside. Good patience on that one. Two apiece now. Top of the ninth inning. They want to go home. And she gets the strikeout as it comes back over. Very free. There was nowhere even close to that pitch. Trey Bellamy, the first baseman. One for three with a home run and an RBI. One out, nobody on. At the top of the ninth. Blowfish 11, Ramblers 3. There's a shot up the middle in the center field for a clean single. So one on with one out, and in comes Kid Paul. He's 0 for 3 today. All right, Kitty, the Kid Man. He's got an average fast runner at first base. Hard liner in the center field. That's going to be two quick singles, Pete. With one out, the, the Ramblers have two on. Yes, sir. Two on with one out, top of the ninth. The Ken Bernal, the catcher, steps in. He's 0 for 3 today. Hey, yeah. Uh, and there they go. They're going to bring out Shania Burns after a heck of a day, and they're going to bring in Julio Hooper, the B-plus closing pitcher. Hooper with about uh, less than average velocity, good junk, and less than average accuracy. He's locked in and fit. He's got no ERA but a .67 whip and six strikeouts. He's known as a specialist with an elite cut finger fastball. He's not fully rested, but he's pretty well rested. He's got that cut finger fastball, a four seam fastball, a two seam fastball, and a curveball. So with one out and one on, first pitch catches the outside corner for a called strike. Strike one. There's a knock that it's going to get it into um, left field. And now the bases are loaded with one out. All right, that's good. Just didn't want to hit in that double play. <laughs> Corbin Huerta, one for through the home run in our RBI. Another home run would be great here. Get four more on there. Get us to seven. Get us close. It's the top of the ninth. We can come back. First pitch misses ball inside. Pressure up now. One to the count. There it is. No, oh, but no, it's no. an early swing foul ball third baseline. Even now, one apiece. Reaches down, hits that past the mound to first in the center field. The runner's going to hold up. They're going to get one run. We just barely made it, Pete. Yeah. So it's 11 4, and in steps Repo Reeves, the right fielder. He's two for three with two singles. Base is still loaded with only one out. There's a shot up the middle into center field. That's going to score another run. All right. And make it 11 to 5. And again, without a lot of speed, that not really pushing. 11 to 5. And in steps Hector Clements. All right, yeah, with Ramblers threatening now. You got a power hitter in Clements up at the bait. There's a hard liner in the left field. Everybody's going around more than one base. That's going to be a double. We're going to get a couple runs on that, Pete. It's now 11 7. Yes, sir. So runners at second and third with one out. Marcus Murillo stepping in. He's one for three with a double. And that's going to be the end of yeah. Julio Hooper. So Julio Hooper's going to take a seat, and they're going to bring in Joanne Heater, the B-minus relief pitcher. She's neutral and fit. She's got the, uh, really good velocity, poor junk, and better than average accuracy. She's got an elite four-seam fastball. She's known as a wild thing. Um, she's got a 9.39 ERA, a 1.96 whip, and two strikeouts. She's uh, almost fully rested. She's got that four-seam fastball, a curveball, and a changeup. So now pitching Joanne Heater against Marcus Murillo. First pitch catches the outside corner for a call strike. Strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That one traveling 103 miles per hour. Allen's ripped foul along the first place line. One and two. That one's outside, ball two. Two and two. Ooh. Swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Marcus Murillo. So two outs now and in steps no McLean. Yeah, she's hard to read, man. Two for four, two singles, RBI. A home run will bring us uh, within one run. And this is 102 miles an hour. Ball, one and 
Wendell they got pressure way up. There's a grounder past the mound. Second baseman picks it up, throws it to first, and the game is over, Pete. Yeah, Ramblers lose again. Yeah. Wow, I mean, we've, we waited until the end. Of, what an ugly game. <laughs> Holy yeah. cow. We were out of that thing from the first pitch. Uh, we end up getting some runs at the end, but it was way too late. Uh, so, yeah, this is how it goes. So they get four in the first. Now, we, we know going into this, we can't have those bad innings. we got to hold them back. We give up four right away. Uh, yeah. They hold us off. We give up two more in the third. We finally get one in the fourth. And then one more in the sixth, and then we give up another three runs in the sixth. Uh, and then we get one more in the eighth. They get two more <laughs> in the eighth. Then we get four in the ninth, but by then it's too late. So we end up getting seven runs on 13 hits with an error, which is not a bad day offensively. But again, we give up 11 runs on 21 hits. I think we've given up 45 hits or something in the last two games with 20... I get, yeah, it's like 23 runs in two games. Yeah. Just absent, absent defense, horrible pitching. Uh, for offense, no McLean goes 2 for 5, gets an RBI. He's still hitting 455 in the season. Wendell Heath, uncharacteristically, 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Spray Bellamy, 2 for 4 with two runs. He had a good day with a home run, an RBI. One, one of the longest home runs we've seen, at least the longest we've seen this season. Kid Paul, 1 for 4 with a run. Uh, Ken Bernal, one for four with one run. Uh, Corbin Huerta, two for four, two runs, a home run, uh, two RBIs. A good day for, for Huerta. Repo Reeves, three for four with an RBI. I mean, he must have heard us talking about him <laughs> between games. Yeah. Uh, Hector Clemens goes one for four with two RBIs. And uh, Marcus Murillo, one for four with a run and a strikeout. And for the Blowfish, Elvis Stanley goes one for five with a strikeout. Hog Porker goes one for five, scored a run, and struck out once. Harry Backman, he goes four for five, scores three runs. <laughs> oh. uh, Marvin Stee goes three for four, scores four runs. He gets three <laughs> RBIs. He walks once, and he struck out once. Uh, Jose Carloco goes three for five, scores two runs. He's got two RBIs himself. Humper Lumpkins does not have an, an official at bat. Uh, McGee comes in, goes three for five, scores a run, hits a home run, and racks up four RBIs. Play of the game. Rod Forth uh, goes three for five and uh, has two RBIs, strikes out once. Um, Hill goes three for five, strikes out twice. Uh, Alfonso Delgado does not uh, does not uh, have an appearance at the plate. Uh, Narub Awanga goes 0 for 5 with two strikeouts, and Ricky Kwan does not get an official at bat. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, Awanga's a dominating player, so when he came in rattled and wasn't going to do well, I'm thinking, okay, now we got a chance. But then you got yeah. Harry Backman, Marvin Steed, Jose Carloco, and, and Sting McGee. What just blew up. Oh, uh, pitching. Okay, so yeah. Dapper earns, and he really does earn that loss. He goes five and two thirds inning, gives up 17 hits, nine earned runs. It's four strikeouts, gives up a home run. His ERA climbs to a 10.03. He's now 0-2 on the season. Jet Dapper, not not making his own case. Uh, Donnie Bowers comes in, throws an inning of the three, gives up three hits, two earned runs, walks a batter, gets two strikeouts. Not a bad outing for Bowers. He's uh, got a six ERA, he's 0-1 on the season. And Leland Bull comes in, throws an inning, gives up just one hit, two strikeouts. That's a real good performance. His ERA is at a 1.69, he's 1-0-0 on the season. And then over there, uh, Cheyenne Burns um, gets the win. She went eight in the third innings, gave up nine hits, five earned run, one strikeout, and gave up two home runs. Her ERA is at a 2.93, and her record improves to two wins, no losses, no saves. Julio Hooper comes in, doesn't pitch, uh, doesn't even get an out. <laughs> he gave up four hits, two earned runs, and they yanked him right away. So. His ERA is at a 3.0, and his record remains one win, no losses, and no saves. And then they bring in Joanna Heater. She will earn the save. She pitches two-thirds of an inning, and she struck out one. Struck out one. Her ERA is at an 8.64, and her record improves to no wins, no losses, but one save. Three stars of the game. Marvin Steed, the left fielder, outfielder, A minus ranked. He's uh, the first star of the game. Goes three for four with a triple, three RBIs, and scored four, four runs. Man, I thought I was going to get it with Sting McGee, the B-plus ranked catcher. Number 10 in the Blowfish uh, goes 3 for 5 with a home run, 4 RBIs, and scores a run. And then rounding out the three stars of the game, 
No Ramblers, obviously. The B-plus ranked catcher first baseman Harry Backman, known as a whiffer, goes four for five with two doubles, and he scored three runs. Well, a great day for that young man. <laughs> Gamer stats, Tommy G with six hits, two home runs, three RBIs, three great catches, three strikeouts for a contribution of 45%. Pete J with seven hits, four RBIs, four great catches, five strikeouts for a contribution of 55%. I can't, I can't do better than you this year. I'm doing, you're dragging me along. That home run, are you kidding me? That's got to go into the Hall of Fame. They should have, they, okay, here's, here, for you get for a uh, metalhead out there, put together a, a, a uh, Hall of Fame vault or something where you can save highlights. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, would that, be. That, that 480, what was it, 87? Yeah, I, I think a little bit further, I thought it was going to go out of the building. Longest home run that I've seen. All right, so we got a couple of players. Your been... audio dropped. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I can't hear you now. Yeah, you can. Back. Okay, uh, manager, yeah. we got a couple of players have been posting very outdated memes to social media. Who do you confirm? Oh, who cares? They're adults. Come on, people. Twenty nine, nine is twenty two loyalty. Yeah. Who do you? Confront? Well, I guess if you're gonna do it, I was gonna say. I guess if you're gonna do it, you would do it to swindle Heath, right? Well, then he comes down to seventy seven. Yeah. Whereas if you do it to Kid Paul, he's down at like fifty percent. Yeah. All right. No, he's one. actually, he's actually, you know, he's actually struggling right now. Yeah. I think he's that. I think it was 04 in the last game too. I'm yeah. not sure. These are these these are stupid. I I like this idea, but the loyalty take is a quarter of the loyalty. There's only one muffin without raisins left. I mean, who comes up with this crap? This is yeah. so stupid. Uh, who gets it? I guess John Contreras, right? Because we don't want Leila Bolda. John Contreras is already a 46. Okay, but you got to get, um, you got to go to the left though to leave them bold. Cause see, wait a minute. Um, no, who gets the muffin? Yeah. Yeah. So Contreras will get add six to his loyalty, but Bull will lose twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Cause if if Contreras loses twenty four, he's gonna be at twenty two. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay, well, Although this is what happens. This is what happens when you lose, you know, you start yeah. losing and yeah, again, things happen. we're at about a minute an hour and 20 minutes too. So these, this been, we've been taking long on these horrible losses. So I think, I think we cut it there. Uh, you can join us on the flight over to Fort Lauderdale to hear all about us grumbling. Uh, but maybe, who knows, maybe yeah. the Ramblers do something there. We're going to be meeting up with those. Uh, actually, we could do, you want to do the scores of the other games now? Because the freebooters don't play before that. Then we can, then we'll know what the standings are as we're going in. You want to do that? Okay, sure. All right, so there's eight other games that happened here. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's not the blowfish aren't in there either. So, he wants to start us off with the Buzzards up in Chicago with Crocodiles. Okay, so the Buzzards travel to Chi-Town to take on the Crocodiles. Buzzards jump out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win 8-5. to five. The Swordfish and the Wildcats in Atlanta. It's a closer flight, and it's close, but the Wildcats win at 7-6. Nemesis taking on the Overdogs, and the Nemesis just beating up on the Overdogs 12-4. to four. Baltimore Jacks and St. Louis Sirloins. Sirloins 2-zip. Detroit Moose travel to take on the Saw Teeth, and it's the Saw Teeth all day, 8-5. Herbosaurus are down to the heaters in Monterey, Mexico, and it's close back and forth, and then the heaters win at 10-6. Lockhorns travel to take on the B-Wolves, and Lockhorns out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win 10-2. Hot corners of the Moonstars again. It was a back-to-back -back game. This time the Moonstars won at 4-2. Yes, sir. So over there in the Liberty Conference, uh, Eastern Division, Platypi with a four and three record, have a one game lead over the wide loads who are in second place with a record of three and four. In our division, Central Division, it's the Atlanta Wildcats who are out in front six and two. Uh, they have a one game lead ahead of the Chicago Crocodiles who are five and three. Our Ramblers are two and a half games back at three and four. Down in the Western Division, the Nemesis with a record of six, six wins and two losses. 
They uh, maintained a one-game lead over the Sawtooth, who were just behind them in second place with a record of four win- uh, five wins and three losses. In the Continental Conference Atlantic Division, how those freebooters were going to go play, our first place is five and two. Uh, and uh, that's, yeah, that's really good. They, are, they have a one-game lead ahead of both the Wild Pigs and the Wax Pills, who also have winning records at four and three. Uh, in the Plains Division, the Heaters with a record of six and two have a two-game cushion over the uh, lo- second-place Lockhorns, who are uh, playing 500 ball right now at four wins and four losses. And in the Pacific Division, the Blowfish are now 5-3. and three. They're alone in first place. They got a one-game lead ahead of the San Diego Moonstars and the Phoenix Beavolves, who are both 4-4 four and four at 500 ball. All right, so then our next game will come up. We'll be playing those freebooters down in Fort Lauderdale. I guess we'll cut her close now. We'll see you out there in the southeast coast. Until then, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And we're saying, get out of here.